Well, Big Al, I've been thinking, that's rare, Big Al. <laughs> I was thinking about you, actually, and all the people who've never had a chance to ever get to the ocean. I know. There's some people who never will, and I've been blessed to be there. So I thought, what? I'd bring the ocean to all of you who've never been there. You know, so, BL, I hereby bring to you the ocean. <laughs> Is it? Well, BL, there's sand and water. Not enough. It's supposed to be salt water. <laughs> You're weird. Well, Miguel, I know that that's not fully it either, so we need a fish. Uh-oh. So, Miguel, so there it is. We now have the ocean. This guy is crazy. Okay, well, Miguel, I'll take out our little fish for just a second here. Big Al, I know that's not the ocean. And the reason I said this, what? Sometimes the words we use to describe God or the ways we think about God, well, they're never nearly as awesome as God is. I've been to the ocean. It's so much more awesome than this. And God is so much more awesome than any words we could ever use. And knowing God, yeah, best thing of all. And Miguel, I pray that our boys and girls and you and every person will learn that we're surrounded by God all the time. And like how I learned to breathe underwater while scuba diving, taking all that beauty I'm breathing in God now. Yay! God is always here. And God is so much more wonderful than the words we use. Just like the ocean is so much more wonderful than this. Fun. It is kind of fun. But it's just a glimpse, a tiny taste of how amazing the ocean is. God. And God is so much more amazing than any words we could ever use. <laughs>